A Georgia woman sentenced to life now has a new chance at freedom for a crime she did not commit. It involves a murder case 11 Alive profiled in 2018, which shed light into flawed evidence. Here's Reveal investigator Andy Parati. I said, I'm gonna call you right back. On a busy sidewalk downtown Atlanta, Ricky Allen doesn't let his wheelchair slow him down. He's used to obstacles. A train accident took his legs at 13, and then he lost his mother, Sheila Ditton, to life in prison a few months later. For her not to be there, you know, under her own will, you feel me, it, it was just devastating. More than 15 years later, Allen recently learned he could see his mom free from incarceration after the Southern Center for Human Rights discovered a problem with evidence used to convict her. What was your reaction? It's just disbelief. The case involves the murder of Eugene Garner, found beaten to death inside his Waycross, Georgia home in 2004. I wonder if he saw that. The district attorney's office indicted Allen's mom with Garner's murder, claiming two pieces of evidence linked her to the crime. The first, an alleged confession Ditton made to this woman, Shannon Jones, seen here during an interrogation. I opened the door and she said, I just hear something. I said, well, you did. She said, I just give so much. But the DA's most compelling piece of evidence at the time, bite marks found on the victim and Ditton, showing a possible struggle between the two the evening Garner died. Years later, though, Ware County Judge Dwayne Gillis now says bite mark evidence is inherently unreliable, even going as far to write in an order, if the trial happened today, it would probably produce a different verdict. This past February, the judge granted Ditton a new trial. Mark London Brown is Denton's attorney. How big of a deal is this? Well, I think it's a huge deal for Ms. Denton, but I also think it's a very big deal um, for forensic science uh, on a grander scale. The judge recognized something else about Denton's case. It involves that witness, Shannon Jones, who Denton allegedly confessed to. But she don't care who she heard, man. She don't care what she say. Judge Gillis she agreed with what the Review reported in 2018, that Jones only came up with her story after detectives lied that they had evidence putting her at the scene of the crime. The police actually said to Ms. Jones, you can either be a suspect or you can be a witness. You decide right now whether you want to be a witness or you want to be a suspect. And she's crying at this point. She says, I don't want to be a suspect. I don't want to be a suspect. You need to tell me the truth right now. I'm tired of joking around. And then she comes up with this story. A short time after the judge ordered a new trial, a surprise turn. The district attorney declined to prosecute Ditton's new trial. And on April 8, 2020, the 53-year-old is released from prison in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic. That's her in the back seat. Ditton and her attorneys wearing masks. I was overwhelmed and I, I couldn't do nothing but smile. Allen says her mom isn't ready to do interviews. She's too busy getting to know her grandchildren. What do you hope people get out of your mom's story? That they never give up, be there for them, be there. That, that's the most important thing is being there. It, 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 it gives them hope. Since 2005, more than 30 people incarcerated for bite mark evidence have been exonerated or had their indictments dismissed. Despite its track record, most states still allow bite mark evidence in trials today.